Hi, this is Josh Haftel with another video on the all-new Lightroom CC. In this video, we're going to be talking about the organizational tools that have been built into Lightroom CC. Lightroom CC was designed to house all of your photos that you want to work with and therefore needs to have the right kind of tools to be able to find exactly the photo you want to have even after you've added in a ton of photos. As you can see, I've got a bunch of photos already in here. I've got 42,000 photos so far and I want to show you how you can use the tools to find exactly the photo you're looking for. So let's start off on the left. On the left side we've got the My Photos and under there we have a couple different ways of seeing all the photos that are inside of your collection. So we've got All Photos of course which is just going to show me the photo that I've selected and where it fits into the timeline. We've also got Recently Added which is going to show me the last five imports. So we can see about an hour ago I imported the photos that we've been working on from Cuba and I can also organize it by date. So I can see uh, chronologically all the different images that I've added in at different times. So let's see if I wanted to open up 2014 and go into, let's see what happened. What did I, what was I doing in March of 2014? Oh, that's fun. That's back when I was in Laos. But these are just different ways that we can look at uh, our images. Now, of course, we also have the albums down here, which are organized by different collections. So I have the option of seeing like the different folders from 2016, or I can close that up and I can see specifically the albums that I've made step by step. And of course, here's that Cuba trip that uh, we've been working on. So we can go directly into there. So this is a way for me to find the images that I want to find. But let's talk about some of the more fun tools that we've got. So at the top, we've got this search bar. And then we start looking at this search bar and we see how you can use this search bar to find specific images. Now, if I click on the search bar inside of the Cuba trip, as we saw before, we can search for very specific things. Using the power of Adobe Sensei, we're automatically tagging and identifying objects inside of these images. So if I want to look for a car, for example, it's going to return to me all the pictures of cars. If I want to look for, let's say, people, I can type that in, and I got pictures of people. Uh, if I want to type in blue, here's a bunch of pictures with blue in it. So this is a really cool way of being able to find images, and this can help you if you know, all right, well, I know that one picture has some kind of component inside of it, and I can search for it using these different search results, but I can even use filtering on top of that. So I can say, like, well, show me something that's got blue in it, but also is four stars. So there we go. I can be able to narrow it down even further. Or if I want to, I can say like, show me things that are blue, have four stars, were shot with a Leica Q, which is all of these photos so far. And that gives me a chance to be able to be even more precise. So if I reset this, basically gets rid of the filtering, I get rid of the blue, I can go back to my all photos, and this is really fun because now I can go in here, I can type in, for example, food. Now I love taking pictures of food. I love eating food. I love remembering food. For example, uh, this was a photo that I shot when I was in Vietnam and you just have a chance to eat some really, really tasty things over there. So this is a really cool way of being able to use uh, the different tools inside of here to be able to find exactly what you're looking for. And again, if I wanted to go in and I wanted to narrow it down, I could say, you know, show me only the pictures of food that were shot with my X-T1. So it's going to filter that out. And now I've got a bunch of photos of food that I shot with my X-T1. And so now what I can do is I'm going to click reset and I'm going to close out of that one. And I'll go back to uh, looking at uh, these photos. Let's go back to where I was from, from Cuba. So there I've got the photos from Cuba. So that's a, a couple different ways of using the filtering and the searching tools to be able to find stuff. But you also have a couple other ways of, of finding what you're looking for. We can sort things by different ways. So I can sort by capture date. So I can either uh, go chronologically or reverse chronologically. So now I'm going chronologically, which is the oldest photos are at top. Uh, if I want to go reverse chronologically, I got the most recent photos at top. I've also got the ability to look at the import date, which of course all of these photos will have the same import date. Uh, the modified date will go in there and show me when I edited the photos most recently. So this is a, a great way of finding your most recently edited photos. Star rating will organize it by the star rating. So of course, uh, right now it's got the four stars at the top. And as we scroll down, it goes uh, descending order down to the images with no stars on them. And so there's a lot of different ways of being able to find the photos that you're looking for. In addition to these tools, we've also got the ability to increase or decrease these photos in size so that I can 
make it bigger or smaller as I want to uh, see them. We also have some tools to be able to use to be able to help us with the finding later on. So let's take a look at these two tools over here. So the first one is the keyword tool. And what the keywords tool can let me do is it can let me go in and add specific keywords. Now, sometimes we have keywords that the Adobe Sensei technology will not know about. So for example, if I go in here and I select all of these, we were using a specific hashtag called be boundless. Uh, for this specific trip. So if I want to, I can add be boundless to all those photos. It's gonna warn me, it's gonna add them into all these. I can say, okay. So what I just did there was I hit Command A to select all the photos, and then I applied that keyword to all these photos. So now if I wanna search for be boundless later on, for example, uh, let's go into my all photos. And you can imagine that be boundless might not uh, show up, but if I type in be boundless and I hit search, it's gonna return back all of these photos that I just tagged because this is a way for me to be able to add an explicit tag for specific things. So if you have certain kinds of tags or keywords that you really, really wanna be able to use, this is a way of doing it. And the other way you can do is to go in here and you can add information that might be interesting to these uh, specific photos. So for example, if I wanna be able to say something interesting about this photo. Let's go uh, full screen on this one just so I can see it. Uh, and I'm gonna type in El Faro because that's the name of this lighthouse. So that way I can be able to type in later on if I wanted to, El Faro, and it will show up. So we search on titles, we search on captions, we search on a lot of different information, including the file name, the camera, a lot of that other stuff. So this gives us a chance to be able to find our photos later on, and you've got a lot of really great things you can use. So that gives you an idea of some of the tools you can use to add information to be able to find your photos later on. And we'll uh, go on in the next video to talk about some of the other tools available inside of Lightroom CC.